All right, so for the first one, what you're going to do is multiply top and bottom by PQ. So you're going to do PQ here, PQ here, and PQ down here. What's going to happen, the P and the P are going to cancel. You're going to be left with 3Q. And here, the Q and the Q cancel. You're going to be left with uh, 2P. Dividing by, here are the P and the P, Q, Q cancel. You're left with 9Q squared minus 4P squared. Here, you're going to do 3Q minus 2P. This bottom piece will factor. That's going to be 3Q minus 2P and 3Q plus 2P. Now, the 3Q minus 2P are the same for both, top and bottom, so we're going to go ahead and cancel those out. That's going to give us a final answer of 1 over, don't forget the 1, 3Q plus 2P. Okay? I do see a lot of people who go like this, they cancel this, they cancel this, and they just write down the answer is 3Q plus 2P, because that's all they have left. You cannot do that because that assumes that this is over 1. The 1 here is clearly on top. So because the 1 is on top here, you have to have the 1 on top in your final answer. Okay? I see that every, every semester. I see people who mess that up. Okay? I always feel bad, but then I always mark it wrong. Yeah, it's just not right. I love you, bud. All right. So... Huh? What? There's no R. <laughs> like, there's no R. Like, there's no R. Like, this thing? Yeah. That was an arrow. <laughs> <laughs> that was an arrow saying we can factor that. <laughs> yes. All right. Now, for the second one. The second one, you're going to want to factor 2t plus 8. Excuse me. You want to factor that. When you factor that, you get 1 over t plus 4 plus 1 half equals 3 over 2t plus 4. You can now find a common denominator. It's 2t plus 4. 2t plus 4. 2t plus 4. The t plus 4 is cancel. You're left with 2. Plus here the 2 and 2 cancel. You're left with t plus 4. It's actually 1 times that. but And then here the 2 and the 2 and the t plus 4. The t plus 4 all cancel. You're left with 3. Now, 2 plus t plus 4 is equal to 3. So this is t plus 6 is equal to 3. Subtract 6, subtract 6, and you'll get t equals negative 3. Reminding you that when you get to negative 3, you need to go back and plug that in. Negative 3 plus 4 is 1. It is not 0, so negative 3 is fine. Always go back and double check though. Okay. As we move our discussion forward to the third example. Very similar, you're going to want to factor. This is going to be x plus 2, x plus 3. And now you're going to multiply through by the common denominator. The common denominator is x plus 2, x plus 3. x plus 2, x plus 3 x plus 2, x plus 3. Now, what happens when you do that? x plus 2, x plus 2 cancel, leaving you 5, x plus 3. x plus 3, x plus 3 cancel, leaving you 3, x plus 2. x plus 2, x plus 2, x plus 3, x plus 3 all cancel, leaving you with x. Now, this is 5x plus 15 plus 3x plus 6 equals x. 
this is 8x plus 21 equals x. Hopefully everybody got to this point. Now we are subtracting 8x. Subtracting 8x. 21 equals negative 7x. Dividing by negative 7, divide by negative 7. And you will get 21 divided by negative 7 is negative 3. Now, if in this case you forget to check your answer, when you plug in negative 3, negative 3 plus 3 is 0, and 3 divided by 0 is undefined, so the answer is not negative 3, it is in fact no solution. Okay, and if you put down negative 3, and then you get your paper back and you want to know why it's wrong, because you didn't check it. Yeah, you got to check it always. Now for the fourth one. Although, again, I remind you the difference between an easy problem and a hard problem is simply whether you know the answer or not. Exactly. Okay. And that one makes this one hard. And that makes this one hard. You're going to multiply both sides by big M plus little m. Big M plus little m. Some of you are going like this. Great, I did that. Some of you are going, freaking hell, that's the first step. <laughs> yes, you want to find the common denominator. Multiply that out. That will cancel. What are you going to have? Big M, little u, plus little m, little u, equals big M, v. Probably wasn't very nice of me to use u and v in the same problem. And big M, M, P, and U, and T, and plus. I changed all of it around, so mine looks completely different than that. All right, now we are solving for big M. Where is big M located? Big M is located here and here. So we need to get those together. So we're going to subtract big M, U. Subtract big M, U. And what you're going to get is little m u equals big M v minus big M u. Now you're solving for big M, right? So you have them on the same side now at least. Factor it out. V minus u. And now you're going to divide by V minus U and divide by V minus U. Wait, don't erase it. Actually, I won't erase it because I'm done. <laughs>